Do you find yourself silent in situations where you really wanted to say something? Then today's sequence is for you. Today's sequence is called Wheeling into Truthful, truthful Communication. So, as the headline suggests, we have our peak pose as our, um, our wheel pose, so our full wheel. Don't worry if you're not there yet, we're gonna work into it and then um, you see when we get there if you want to attempt or not. This sequence will also be around the throat and the heart chakra. So opening the throat, balancing the energies of the throat chakra will really help you to express yourself and be your authentic self. So saying what you mean, but we want to do it in an honest and heartfelt way, right? So that's what we're going to try to do today. We will also be working on the opening of our shoulders and our hips to help us come in to this advanced wheel pose, okay? So without further ado, I have my sequins all prepped here with the Play Pause V cards. Um, let's get into it, yes. Okay, so come on over here and we will lay out the sequins. So wrist warm up super important for our wrists to be warmed when we are going into wheel because it's a very we have a lot of weight and a lot of flexion in our wrists okay then the neck for our throat chakra but also um that will also be throughout our sequence our shoulder warm-up we want to have there as well with the opening that we're going to see in the shoulders for our wheel pose and then we have open chest same thing opening of the chest the shoulders coming into our wheel then we have our cat cow we're starting to make some movement into the spine warming up the spine and here also the hips and the shoulders that's going to help us when we come to our wheel pose here we're starting to engage our torso our, uh, our middle and here we're continuing to open up in these areas where we really want to be open when we're getting into our wheel pose then again, coming into some strength, building some heat. We really want to make some heat in our body, chair pose. We really want to come into strengthening also our legs. It's going to help us push up into our wheel. We're going to come through a little standing sequence here. We have added humble warrior in our standing sequence. That will help us when we get to wheel. We're adding some uh, torso strength here also in the back. We're adding yet another opening in the front. And so we're slowly, slowly, slowly coming into it. Here we have our bridge, our prep pose, and then we have our wheel pose. Okay. Now, if you see anything this far, that you can notice that you are going to need some kind of a prop. For instance, your triangle. You might need a block there to help support your arm, uh, etc. Then you find those already now, so you are prepped for the practice, okay? Then we're going to go into shoulder stand here as well for the props. If you have a sensitive neck, then uh, I would encourage you to prop up your shoulders so that you make sure that your weight is on your shoulders and not on your neck. Same will be for plow, for air pressure. And then we are going to come into our headstand, right? We're gonna actually add a little vinyasa here. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna put it here, just so we remember. Then we're going to take it to 90 degrees and then we're gonna come up again to our headstand. So a little, added challenge there as well but then we really are going to balance uh, balance our upper 
upper here. I have the repeat card just to remind me that I'm going back here just for safe checking. Then we're gonna have a little twist, a little opening, a little forward fall to just bring it all together. Some reflection, some time to settle. And then we're gonna slow down. Knees to chest, opening, a little twist, a little opening in the back, then opening in the hips, relaxing, taking it all the way until we finish. All right. So it might look like a long sequence, but I assure you that everything is very carefully added and um, Yes, we need, we're gonna really like come slowly into it and you will see that when we arrive, you will already have um, a great amount of openness in your shoulders, in your wrists, in your hips that will maybe actually facilitate coming into the wheel just a little bit more. Okay, so without further ado, let's get ready and I'll meet you on the mat. Okay, so wheeling into truthful communication, your authentic self. So I want you to come to a seated position. We're gonna sit for a little while. So if you want to elevate your sitting bones with a little cushion or a block, you're welcome to do that. And then we're just gonna take a moment to land in this space. Take a moment to deepen our breath. Maybe set an intention for your practice. Maybe there's something that you wanted to share with someone and that you haven't managed to say. Maybe you want to dedicate your practice to someone else that you feel have something that's maybe unsaid. Keep your intention with you and then come back to it. We're going to slowly start by with a wrist warm up. So we're going to start by circling our wrists. Now I want you to really engage your fingers here as well. We're gonna circle our wrists. Let's see, I'm also using my fingers. It's like I'm taking a hold of something. And while I'm circling, I'm moving my arms up. So it's a nice little start for our shoulders as well. All the way up. And then we're gonna go the opposite way when we're coming down. So turning our wrists in the other direction. Coming all the way down. Try to make as big of a movement as you possibly can. Really, really warming up your wrists. Expanding, you know, your range of motion. And then the other way around. Coming all the way back up again. Use your fingers, really try to get it all with, we're almost tired, <laughs> your wrists. And then circle back, opposite direction. All the way down. Now you can rest your hands on, your knees, we're gonna slowly start to warm up our neck. So inhaling, sitting up tall. Exhaling, tipping your neck over to one side. And just slowly inhale to come up. And in the other direction. Try not to force it, but just let it gently swift from side to side. And back up again. And the other side. And inhale to come up. 
Gonna do half circles. So exhale, rolling the neck all the way down. Now when you come to the middle, I want you to inhale as you come up to the other side. Exhale, coming all the way down to the middle. And then inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, coming down to the middle. And then inhale to come up. And then we find center. Then we're gonna exhale as we tuck our chin towards our chest. Maybe even adding a little bit of your upper back and then inhaling as you come straight and then gazing diagonally upwards. Don't let your head go all the way back, but just a little lift. Then exhale. Coming all the way down. And inhale. Gazing upwards. Then we're gonna do a little bit of a shoulder warm up as well. So taking our hands, placing them on our shoulders, we're gonna bring our elbows together in front of us. And then we're gonna keep them closed as long as possible. And then we're gonna open them. When we open, we're gonna pull them backwards, backwards, backwards. See if we can try to make them meet. They will probably not, <laughs> but on the back side. And really make the circles big, 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 big and intentional, right? Two. Circle. Come to the front. Open up. And last time. And then we're gonna change weight. So we're gonna go back, 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 back. As long as possible and then front. And then back. As far as possible and then front. Three more, and then front, two, and last one, three. Oh, and then maybe shake it a little bit off. Okay, then we're gonna inhale as we sit up tall. I'm gonna show you from the side. You can just stay like you are. We're gonna inhale and then we're gonna open, have a gentle opening of the chest. So we're gonna inhale to sit up tall, we're gonna place our hands, fingers facing backwards, and then maybe the palm comes all the way down, and we really open the chest forward, bringing the shoulders to meet on the back, tucking the chin if you have a sensitive neck, or you can also try to gaze a little bit upwards, but don't let your head go completely, just slightly upwards. And slowly, we're gonna come back into center. Then we're gonna move into our cat-cow. So find your tabletop position. Knees underneath hips, wrists underneath, underneath shoulders. A little bit forward if you have sensitive wrists and check out the other video if you need that. I will link it here. And then we're gonna start by tucking our tailbone and then move all the way through right and really pull 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 almost it's like some, somebody's coming and giving you a punch right as far as you can humanly go really for that nice stretch and then starting in the tailbone and swaying into cow exhale start by tucking the tailbone pushing Engaging your fingers as well, all the way up. And then starting the sway in the tailbone, coming all the way up. And then we're gonna move a little freely, four times to each side. So move round and round into your hips, into your wrists, into wherever you need, and then we're gonna Go to the other direction for four times. Really starting to open up 
last time. And then we're going to find stillness. So finding our tabletop. Then we're going to find stability here and pushing down through. We're going to start our little balancing pose. So we're going to stretch our right arm and our left leg out, keeping a straight line and really reaching out through our hand and out through our foot. And then exhale, bringing the elbow to knee underneath. And inhale, stretch all the way out, really elongate and exhale, pull in. Last time, inhale, stretch all the way out and exhale, come all the way in. Now we're gonna come out for the last time and then we're gonna reach with the right arm back towards our leg, see if you can grab it. And then if you can, push the front of your foot into your hand, opening up. Okay. Oh. And then exhale. Release. And come down. Try to have your hips in equilibrium, parallel all of the time, okay? So inhale, reach out, opposite side. Elongate out. Exhale, elbow and knee to meet. Rounding your back. Inhale, reach back out. And exhale. Elbow and knee to meet. Inhale, reach back out. And exhale, rounding the back, engaging the core to meet. Inhale, come back, find your stability, start to bend your floating leg, reach back with your left hand, take a hold of the foot, pressing the front part of the foot into the palm, opening up. And then release, come back to your extended and exhale, come all the way down. We're going to tuck our toes and then we're going to move into our downward facing dog. Take a moment here to walk out your dog, walk your feet, try to stretch a little bit. Engage your fingers, see if you can come straight. And then we're going to find stillness for a little moment. Two, three, and four. We're going to come up onto our toes and then we're going to start tucking the tailbone, rounding the back. Rolling into plank. And we're going to start bending the knees, hovering them off the mat, and then pushing back into our downward facing dog. One more time. Up onto our toes, rolling the back into our plank. Coming into plank, bending the knees. Pushing the mat away and coming up into downward facing dog. Last time, up onto our toes, rolling through the back. Engage your core, plank, bending the knees, hovering off the mat, push the mat away from you and come back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment. Maybe walk your dog, maybe shake your head. And then we're gonna meet in mountain pose. So coming up onto your toes, bending your legs, stepping or jumping in between your arms. 
coming all the way up, extended mountain, and hands by your side. Then we're gonna do our sun salutation A. So inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, straighten your spine, look down. Exhale, step or jump out to a plank or to a plank with knees on the floor, okay? Wherever you are now. Come all the way down, elbows in, and open up. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And come up to your toes, bend your legs, step or jump, back in, swipe out, all the way up, extended mountain, and mountain pose. We're gonna move into chair. So, inhale, start to sit back, bending your legs, reaching up tall. Now most will tell you to tuck your tailbone here, but we don't want it to be tucked or sway, we want it to be neutral. So you check with yourself, maybe do one and then the other, and then see if you can find your neutral. Okay, two, three, four, five, forward fold. Hold forward, and then from here, straighten your spine. We're gonna lift our left leg back, open up almost like a start of a standing split, bend your right leg, and we're gonna step out towards a crescent lunge. Now I want you to find your 90 degree here, before you raise up. <laughs> There's a little trick to make you stand in a 90 degree, okay? And then we're gonna open up through a warrior two, but we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna have our hands clasp behind our back, and then we're gonna fold into our humble warrior. So folding forward, Opening up the shoulders, hanging out. And we're gonna release our hands, let them come down. Now, if you need a block for a triangle, you place your block within your, with your foot, with your right foot now, and we're gonna try to sip up into our triangle pose. So we're reaching all the way, coming into triangle. Inhale, reach up. We're gonna come all the way up, bending the front leg. Coming into reverse warrior. You can place your hand on your thigh, on your calf, or behind your back. And then inhale. We're gonna cartwheel our hands down, framing the front foot turning the back in, and then push into our three-legged dog. Then exhale, knee to elbow, inhale to come up. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow, inhale to come up. And then exhale, knee to nose. We're gonna hover here for one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna extend back and we're gonna open into our wild thing. So 
So come into here and then stretch up, circling your arm. Hmm. Really giving you a nice stretch. And then maybe bringing your glutes back down a little bit, giving yourself momentum to come back into your three-legged duck. And then we're gonna move through a vinyasa. So you can move through a three-legged if you're ready for it. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto your toes. Bend your legs, step forward, circling the arms out, extended mountain, and exhale, mountain pose. And we're gonna do the other side. <laughs> Inhale, coming into chair, sitting back. Pretend that you have a chair that's actually behind you, that you're sitting towards so that you're not leaning too much forward. Right? Do the same thing. Sway. Tuck. Find your neutral. And then settle. Four. And five. Bending forward. Finding our forward fold. Four. And five. Doing a kind of a half lift, releasing the right leg now backwards, bending the left, then shooting it even further back, finding our kind of towards the lizard, making a 90 degree with our left, and then coming up into high lunge. Two. Three and four. Inhale to open. We're going to open up to our warrior two, but we're not going to stay. We're going to move, clasping the palms behind our back, opening the chest, and then folding forward. Humble warrior. Really release your arms here, giving that nice opening in the shoulders. Now release your hands, framing your foot, and then <laughs> bringing, sorry, bringing your left hand on the inside of your left, and then we're going to pull up into triangle. Think about that wall that's behind you that you want to open up towards. We don't want to be forward here. Right. Inhale, reach up. Coming into your reverse warrior two. Bending that front leg and wrapping your right arm behind your back or supporting yourself, but not ever on the knee. So I prefer on the back. Cartwheeling our hands, framing the front foot, turning the back toes in again, and then pushing into our three-legged dog. Exhale, elbow, knee to elbow, sorry. Inhale to come up. Knee to opposite elbow. Inhale to come up. And knee to nose over here. One. Two, three, four. We're gonna reach out and flip into our wild thing. Shifting our weight, circling that floating arm out to really get that opening. Two. 
then coming back, bringing your glutes down for momentum and pushing back into our three-legged dog. You can move through your three-legged vinyasa, coming all the way down, upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Hmm. You'll stay here for a little while. And then we're going to move into seated. So on up onto your toes, bend your legs. And then fold your legs in. Coming into a seated. Okay. Wow, okay, we're gonna roll all the way down and then we're gonna come into bridge. So you can help yourself with your hands. Place your feet parallel and then your hips. I want you to have your arms down by your side, engaged, pushing, like you're pushing the mat away from you. And the same we want in our feet as well, in our toes, pushing that mat away. And then we're going to, starting by tucking the tailbone, the small movements, and then coming all the way up. Not overextending, just finding neutral here. We're going to stay for eight. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Start rolling on the top, coming all the way down. Inhale and then exhale. Start rolling back up immediately. Inhale. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Exhale. Roll all the way down. Now we have come to our wheel. Okay, so if you're ready and comfortable, then go right ahead if you want to stay with your bridge but it's fine as well if you want to opt for a camel then you can come to your knees and do that but we are going to do wheel so taking your hands flipping them having your fingers come towards your shoulders i'm gonna do it a little step-by-step -step movement so i'm gonna first push myself up placing the head I'm going to adjust my hands just a little bit and then push all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And try to really extend your arms and your legs. And eight, coming all the way down, slowly. Placing your head, coming forward, releasing. Always release for a moment, coming all the way down to your mat. Giving your body a moment after this intense back bend. This intense opening. I'm now going to do a back, flip backwards into my vinyasa. You can pull yourself up forward, go into your vinyasa, or you can skip the vinyasa altogether. That's all up to you. But I'm going to flip back. And then we're going to do a little vinyasa. Upward facing dog. 
downward facing dog and then coming into seated. Now we're gonna do shoulder stand. So if you have a sensitive neck, then it might not be for you. Or at least maybe try to put some, to elevate your shoulders slightly so that your neck is less affected. You can also just create a diamond shape with your hands and place them underneath your lower back. For the rest of us, we're gonna move up into shoulder stand. We're gonna stay for 10 breaths. Make sure that your weight is on the shoulders and not on your neck. Then releasing the legs overhead, down on the floor. Halasan. Maybe releasing the arms out, whatever is comfortable for you. Then bending the knees, creating an even deeper stretch. Inhale, extend your legs. And we're going to slowly roll all the way down. Take your time. Also here, take a moment to be in a neutral spine. If you want to include your fish pose for a little counter, you may do that. So we can extend our legs and then slowly open the chest just a little bit. Inhale, release your head, come all the way down. And we're gonna move through every NASA. So now instead of the flip back, I'm gonna move forward. So giving you two alternatives. So coming up, folding the legs and stepping out. And then we're gonna move through the NASA. So exhale, coming down. Inhale to come up. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then come up onto your toes, place your knees down, and we're going to come into headstand. So if you're comfortable with headstand, then you can go right ahead. Otherwise, we want to find our little nest. So taking a hold of opposite elbows, placing them down, opening up, creating the nest, placing our head in the nest. And if you're not comfortable, you can stay here and just try to walk in. But then we eventually want to move into our headstand. We're gonna try to stay for 15, okay? Thank you. 
Now coming into a 90 degree. For 10. Then back up. And then slowly all the way down. And find your child's pose. So coming back. Find your child's pose. Maybe do a little stretch to each side. Moving the hands to one side. Than the other. Take a little moment to integrate. And then if you want to move through a vinyasa, you may. Otherwise, we're going to meet in a seated position with legs extend. So, I think for now we're just going to move in here this. Extend your legs forward. We are going to do a nice seated twist. So keeping the spine erect, the legs forward. We're going to bend the, the right leg, placing the foot on the mat, taking a hold and you can do whichever twist you want here. If you want to do a bind, you may do so. Otherwise, you can do a simpler version like I am, and then we twist towards the right side, gazing over the right shoulder. And eight, then we release, slowly open up to a neutral, extend your leg. We're gonna do a nice, very gentle forward fold. If you wanna talk more about full forward folds, let me know in the comments because there are quite a lot of discussion about your spine and legs and nerves and whatnot. Let me know if you're interested in checking that out. I would be happy to make one. Inhale, we're gonna come all the way up and then we're gonna bend the left leg. Coming in, inhale to sit up tall, exhale to twist. Do whichever version of the twist that you did to the other side. And last breath, release. And then we're gonna come all the way down. We're gonna pull our knees into chest. Maybe do a little bit of a roll from side to side, maybe even back and forth. And then opening your knees, opening up into happy baby, pulling your lower back into the mat, taking a hold of your feet. If it's on the outside, if it's more comfortable on the inside or even on your thighs, maybe you wanna take them, pull them a little bit down with your hands to open up even more. Maybe you wanna stretch your legs, maybe one leg and then the other. Gonna slowly 
come with our knees in. We're gonna release the left leg down and then we're gonna do our supine twist. So bringing the right leg over to the left side, opening up, gazing over our right shoulder. Giving a nice twist to our spine. Inhale to come all the way back up. We're gonna switch the legs, so bringing the left leg up, releasing the right leg down. Exhale as we bring that left leg over to the right side, gazing over our left shoulder. And inhale to come all the way back up. We're gonna set the left foot down on the mat, keeping the leg bent. We're gonna take the right, fold it over, placing the right ankle or start of the calf right beneath the left, and then pull in our reclined figure four or needle. And we're gonna slowly release our hold. Release the leg down, place the right foot down, and then come into the other side, placing the left leg up and flexing the foot, pulling the right leg in, gripping behind our thigh, and then pull it towards us. This nice, gentle opening. Then release, place the left foot down, bring the feet together, open up in your reclined butterfly, Supta Baddha Konasana. Maybe if you wanna add something underneath your upper back, you may for an even greater opening. Maybe you wanna add your cactus arms, or maybe you wanna just keep your arms alongside body. That is fine too whatever speaks to you. Now I can stay here, or you can release all the way down into your Shavasana, extending your legs, bringing the hands alongside body, palms facing up. And do a little scan. Check in with your body. How does it feel? How is your breath? How is it moving through your body? 
bringing your attention to your lower body, your feet, your toes, your ankles, your knees, thighs, glutes, and hips, relaxing them, letting them go, falling, sinking deeper into the mat, and then your upper body, your belly, your chest, your lower back, your upper back, your shoulders, your arms, your elbows, your wrists, and your fingers. Relaxing them, letting everything go, releasing all judgment, being grateful for your, what your body is capable of. Relaxing your neck behind your ears, your jaw, and your forehead. And bringing your attention back to your intention. And hopefully you have a little more heartfelt courage to speak your truth as we step off the mat. On your next inhale, Gonna do a nice long morning stretch. So bring your arms overhead and give yourself that good stretch. Maybe coming to each of the sides, really moving a little bit, maybe rolling your hips, and then coming on to a side. Whichever side speaks to you, helping yourself up to a seated. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I hope that you feel encouraged to speak your truth. I hope that you feel a little more open and a little more ready to give. And uh, yes, let me know how you thought it was. If there's something that you're wondering about in the comments, something that was unclear or something that you got curious about and want to explore more. Um, and yes, that's it. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one.